to save them to the uttermost, that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make what? Intercession for them. Verse 26, for such and what? High priest. So the Bible makes it very clear. The main work of high priest is what? Intercession. So ladies and gentlemen, let me just put all these things together and ask you another simple, logical question. Here we go. Jesus, according to the Bible, after his death, when he got resurrected, when he went up to heaven, I'm fast forwarding the touch me not to Mary in 40 days with disciples, okay? He went up to heaven. Are you with me? The Bible says he sat down at the right hand of God as I preach. Doing the work of intercession. So what does it mean when he stands up? The work of intercession is finished. Turn your Bibles now with me to the book of Romans. Romans to make this thing even crystal clear. In the book of Romans. Romans chapter 8. And verse 34. Romans chapter 8 and verse 34. Are you there? Yeah. I think we have somebody here in the audience who would like to study the book of Romans. God bless you. Um, he, uh, Romans chapter 8 and verse 34, the Bible says, Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died. Yea, rather, that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh what? Intercession for us. So, ladies and gentlemen, so what does it mean when Jesus stands up? Intercession is finished. No more intercession. So we're so here thinking, I thought the mercy and the grace and intercessory work of God continues forever. No. Believe it or not, this is a strange thing. The Bible calls it God's mercy has limits. How do I know? Jesus said, like the days of Noah, it shall be in the days of days before the Son of Man come. So what happened in the days of Noah is an example of what it will happen in the future. In the days of Noah, God gave those people 120 years. And after all those years, God gave the last chance by demonstrating all these animals marching in. And they still had the opportunity. But when they refused, refused, reject, 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 God had no choice but to close the door. So that was there, the close of probation. No more intercession, so to speak. Are you listening? That kind of thing will happen again for the whole world, again, in the future. Again, we're not talking about another arc, but probation, grace period, intercessory work will be finished someday. And the Bible says, Michael, stand up. What does that mean? All the decisions are made up by the individuals. God gave all these people ample opportunities to choose Him, to believe in Him. But they all made up their minds. So at the end, He stands up, probation closed. Therefore, 
Michael stand up. It means his kingdom is beginning. At the same time, probation is closed. Are we together? So then, when the Bible says, at that time shall Michael stand up, what does that mean? At that time, probation will close. Now we are more curious about then, what time? Yes or no? It says at that time, right? What time is that? I want to know when the probation is going to close. By the way, when you come back here tomorrow, don't expect this Korean brother to tell you probation is going to close 2012, December 21. <laughs> no. There is no specific date given to us. No specific date year, month. However, when the Bible says, at that time, shall Michael stand? That time is pointing to an event that was already mentioned in the previous verse. So when that event takes place, you can know that the probation is going to close. Very soon. Are you with me? Yeah. Are we together? So when you come back tomorrow, we are going to study about at that time. This is a big topic. So I need all my speaking hours to explain at that time. So don't miss it. But the Bible makes it so clear. At that time, Michael shall stand. And again, who is Michael? Archangel Jesus. That name is connected to Jesus as he is the captain, but his voice can raise the dead. Look right here. Go back to Daniel 12. Daniel 12. You will see them. You'll see it again. The Bible is so consistent. Daniel 12, verse 1, At that time shall Michael what? Stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the what? Children of thine people. And there shall be what? Time of trouble. Such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, what? Thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the what? In the book. And look at this. And many of them that what? Sleep in the dust of the earth. Many that are what? <coughs> Sleep in the dust. Do you take that literally? Do you know anybody sleeps in the dust? Cover themselves in the dust and take a nap? Yes or no? No. So what is it talking about? Sleep in the dust. They are dead. They're resting in peace under six feet, okay? Six feet under. They're dead. Sleep in the dust of the earth shall, next word please. Awake. What's that mean? Resurrection. Exactly. There you have it. Michael stand up. He's going to deliver his people. Those who are alive, he will protect them. But those who are dead, he's going to raise them from the grave. But who will be raised from the grave? The Bible says everyone's names are written in the book.
if you want if you want the rest of the story, come back tomorrow. Then you will see how all these little pieces come together to tell us a final message for our time. In closing, this picture of Jesus stand up, yes, close probation. This picture was was used once in the Bible. Do you remember? Do you remember when Stephen was being stoned? Go there with me quickly in the book of Acts. Acts. Chapter 7. And the Bible says, just before Stephen died, he saw something in heaven. And what was that? Acts chapter 7 and verse 55, the Bible says, But he, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly into heaven, and saw the what? Glory of God, and Jesus doing what? Standing on the right hand of God. Very interesting. Uh, it is our understanding that that same year, or at the same time, there was a close probation for the Israel. And Jesus used the same imagery, standing up, to portray, to give the message. Probation is closed. At the same time, Jesus was standing up and let Stephen see so that Stephen, before he goes to sleep, before he dies, he dies with assurance yeah. that he will be dead in Christ. Yeah. Yeah. And by the voice of the archangel, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Yeah. Yeah. What a wonderful gift that God gave to Stephen. Yeah. Before his death, he was able to see Jesus standing up at the right hand of God. Amen. You know why God gave that gift, that vision to Stephen? You know why? Because Stephen, he loved Jesus yeah. so much. Yeah. Jesus was everything to him. Because of that, Stephen became so much like Jesus. He became so much like Jesus that the religious leaders said regarding Stephen, they saw angel's face on his face. And this same Stephen, before he died, he saw Michael, the archangel, Jesus. Standing up at the right hand. Let me ask you something. You know, when people die, just before they die, they think about the most important, important thing in their life. And usually it's about family, it's about relationship. And that's, that's beautiful and that's, that's good. But my question to you is this, even without the vision of Jesus from heaven, if God allows you to die before he comes back, what will be your consuming thought before you think that 
rest in the grave. What is going to be the most important thought? Is it going to be your fame, your wealth, your talents, your position? What thought? Perhaps all of you are saying, oh, um, for sure, before I die, before I die, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to think about God and Jesus. Just like that thief on the cross. Lord, remember me. Yeah? I, I don't even perhaps thinking this way. But let me tell you something. But maybe, 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 maybe not. Because all of you, you practice. <laughs> you practice dying every day. When you go to sleep. Yes or no? You practice dying every day when you go to sleep. So what is your your last thought before you go to bed? Whatever that is, perhaps that is going to be your final thoughts before you die. So the question is, is Jesus the first and the last? and the best in your life. Yeah. What imaginations, what videos, what pictures do you run in your mind as you're resting at night? Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, someday Michael shall stand up Jesus will stand up, which means he will come back. Yeah. Yeah. And he's coming back to deliver his people. Yeah. And his people are his people because their thoughts are always on things above and focused on Jesus. Is that your life, our life? What is your thought on this? If you wish to go deeper, think deeper. Get serious with God. Amen. Stand with me as we pray this evening. Loving Heavenly Father, tonight we only study a very short phrase, Michael Stanley. to stand up. But at the same time, you are not so ancient to stand up because there are too many, too many people that are not ready. So you are lingering you are hesitating. You are applying your blood before the mercy seat because you love us so much. May we embrace this love to have complete transformation in our life. <coughs> Transform our hearts. Transform our thoughts. That our minds can stay upon you. Help 
us, O God, today. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated.